Okay, so today I'm going to go over um, interpreting charts and graphs to find mean, median, mode, and range. Um, in this one, it says Gary kept a driving log to see how many miles he drove each day, and it shows the chart, and it asks for the median of the numbers. So the first thing you have to do when you're finding median is you have to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So here we have one, two, four, five, eight, eight, and nine. <clears throat> and once you put them in order, you'll be able to start um, eliminating um, numbers. And you just go from both ends um, one at a time. So if I take one off of this one, I take one here. And I just work my way towards the middle. So the median of this set of data would be five. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so this one um, it says a baker um, wrote down how many pies she made in the past five days. So we already know we have five numbers. Um, and we are going to go ahead because it's asking for median. Again, we're going to put an order from least to greatest. I have three fours and two fives. <clears throat> Oops. And if I work my way toward the middle of the set of data, I will see that four is in the middle. So my median would be four. Okay, so here we have a bar graph. Um, Vivian tracked the maximum daily wind speed for five days. So here we have the five days and the numbers. It asks for the mode. <clears throat> so mode is the number that occurs the most. Um, in this case, if we look um, at the bottom where the wind speed is, down here, we'll see these, there's three of those at the same wind speed um, and only two for the other. So that means that five would be our mode. <clears throat> All right, so a race car driver kept track of how many laps he drove in the past five days. This one is asking for the range of the numbers. So to find range, you subtract the um, largest number by the smallest number. So we only have two numbers here, so it's just 10 and seven. So 10 minus seven would give me three. So my range is three. Really hoping this next one's a mean problem. Okay, <clears throat> so the county released data about how many schools there are in each town. So there's the towns, and on the um, y-axis you see number of schools, and this one does ask for the mean. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go um, across the chart here. So like, if I look at this, <clears throat> I'm gonna be looking at where each of them ends. The county released data about how many schools Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna look at each of those numbers there and I'm gonna add them first. So um, if I look at Springfield, it has eight schools and Chesterton also has eight. Watertown has three, as does Marion. Oops, my eight over there looks like a star. There we go. Okay, so we got our three and three. Ashland has two. Columbia has four, Mayfield has 10, and Salem has two. So I'm gonna add those together <clears throat> just um, to make things easier. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull up a calculator. And you guys are welcome to do the same when you're working these out. Okay, so I'm gonna add up <clears throat> eight, plus eight, plus three, plus three, plus two, plus four, plus 10, plus another two. So I got 40. So here I'm gonna say equals 40. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight there. So I'm gonna divide 40 by eight and that's gonna give me five as my mean. So. Now that I know my mean, I can go in and put that answer in. 
So really you're just doing what you already need to do. You just have to read the charts and graphs to do it. Okay, let me know if you have any questions and y'all have a great day. Bye.